All right, it's time to deal with this beehive. Let's check it out. So we're out here with the top bar beehive and it's time to deal with this thing. We, if you remember, if you followed along with us, we, we had some, what I thought I may have caught a swarm. I was all excited because there was bees coming in and out of here and also hornets. And uh, once I opened it up and looked inside, I found out there was a giant hornet's nest in there and some other bees from another hive had come in and stolen all the honey out of all the comb that was in here. Uh, my bees had died off uh, last spring. So it's time to get this ready for some new bees. We're going to be doing our top bar hive this year. We're also going to be building a Langstroth hive. And uh, we'll put that probably back towards the fields and have this one up here. And uh, we'll kind of continue our to build our little apiary here and uh, I plan to have lots of bees at some point. So. So this hive, this top bar hive, I built myself, and uh, this was a kind of a learning uh, hive for me. Um, this was uh, a way for us to get into bees, uh, was something I could build myself easily, and I liked the idea of the top bar hive. It seemed more natural um, to me. I, I don't disagree with Langstroth, and again, I'm going to do those as well. So what we're going to do today is flip this open and deal with these hornets. we got to get this uh, hornet's nest out of here while it's cold. Uh, I don't know if they can fly around and sting me still when it's cold. <laughs> we'll find out. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so here's what we're dealing with. We, I cleared this out um, last year in the warm weather with my bee suit on and just kind of checked out what we had in here and cleared out some of the combs. Um, that were crisscrossed and actually made a big old block of beeswax out of a bunch of the, the wax in here, which was cool. So these are all kind of broken off and actually probably scraped some of these off more completely. A lot of dead bees. So we'll scrape off a lot of this stuff. I may grab my hive tool really fast and just kind of clean this up. I don't know if my angles were wrong on these uh, these boards, but they always seem to attach to the sides here. Um, not a big deal. But this, oh, hey, all right. So it just fell off. <laughs> um, Maybe there's not even any hornets in here. It'd be kind of neat to see what's inside here, huh? Some people have said, oh, you can get big money for those. You should sell it. Well, I was looking on eBay and it looks like about 50 bucks for one of these. I'm not sure that's big enough money for me to deal with the, deal with that. Let's cut this open, see what's inside. It looks like there's actually layers in here, very similar to uh, the honeycomb that the bees build. A couple entrances here also. And then the rest of it looks kind of like a shell. It looks like these could all be ways to get in and out too, huh? Maybe. So I got a hacksaw, it's about the only saw, hand saw I have. <laughs> Let's cut it this way. Oh, wish me luck. I wonder how many hornets are stored up in here. So far so good. I don't think that they can do much in the cold. I don't hear anything. I think the hive is abandoned. Doesn't look 
look like a, any hornets in there at all, but yeah, it looks very similar to a, a beehive. We've got all the combs built in here. This looks like kind of a, an outer protective shell, probably keeps them warm in the winter. A bunch of little entrances, looks like a bunch of larvae and stuff in here. But no hornets. That's good. It makes my, my life a little easier. I've been kind of putting this off. These just look like layers of nothing. This is all just kind of... It's interesting how they can make this paper. So here's one of the hornet's combs. Yeah, it looks just like a just like a bee comb, doesn't it? Honeycomb. Just without the honey. Still no sign of any live hornets. There's a ladybug in there. <laughs> There's two ladybugs in here. Must have been looking for somewhere warm. Um, but easily to dispose of all this, we don't need any of this. Uh, I might save this half. It looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll put this up in the put this up as a decoration somewhere. It looks kind of neat, huh? All right. So let's clean up this hive just a little bit here. Take off those parts that were curved. And hope that they get smart bees. Come on, build straight. Uh, I am real happy with how these top bars worked out though. I think they did really well. There's a little baby bee in there. And being able to harvest the the honey and the wax and the honeycomb is a is a plus. You don't have any foundations to deal with or anything. You just take it out and break it off and harvest. So I do like that about the top bar. We buy all of our bees from a local farm. And they make runs down south in the springtime and get them all, I think, from Georgia or South Carolina or something like that. And we really had good luck with the bees we got last time. So, two packages this time. This is exciting, just getting ready for it. I think I'll just dump, I think I'm just going to dump this whole thing out the bottom. This is how they, they start a new comb on the top bar. And this is actually, this is all made out of pallets, but this is just a sliver of pallet that's stuck into a groove. I cut a groove with the table saw and put this little piece of wood in here, a little sliver of pallet wood, and then I brushed it with uh, beeswax. And so they seem to start on all these little pieces uh, really well. Well, although we still have a few months to go before I can get bees, it's nice to know that the hive is cleaned out and ready and there's no hornet's nest in there uh, to deal with. And so, man, I'm excited to get bees this year. Uh, when I get them, they will get going a lot quicker. There's already some comb in there that they can repair and use. There's some extra wax and stuff for them. So uh, when I first started this hive, there was nothing in there. They had to build this whole thing from scratch. So. Um, it's uh, it's going to be nice to, to get them in there and get them going. It'll be nice to also see the difference between the Langstroth hive and the top bar hives. Uh, I may end up liking the, the Langstroth better. Um, I know they're a little easier to deal with and they're a little more of a honey production uh, type of unit, which is something that I'd like to, to get into. So.
Very glad there was no hornets in here. It made this job a lot easier, that's for sure. Um, but pretty neat to see the inside of this thing. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. They are very similar to bees in the way that they, they kind of build their combs and everything, so um, can't be too far off. Uh, if they only made honey, they'd be useful. I don't really see a lot of use for, for hornets, though. I'll save this. I've got a bin that I'll uh, start saving these combs in. Um, it takes quite a few to melt down and get any decent amount of wax, and so uh, I think I melted down like six or seven full combs uh, earlier this year, and I got a block of wax, you know, it was about this big, about as big as a coffee cup, so um, one candle, right? So what are our plans here on the farm? Well, long term, we would really like to do more bees. Um, I plan on uh, offering pollination services, if possible, to the local farmers, and really having a lot of, of bees here. We have a lot of property, and we have room for plenty of hives. I, I mean, we could have 50 hives out here. And so that's something I really would like to do down the road. Um, it'll take years to do that, you know. Um, I would say in five years, I'd like to have 20 hives going here, and uh, you know, we'll be splitting some, we'll be buying some, and I'd like to eventually make this a sustainable operation where we can uh, manage and divide out our own bees into new hives and um, and really kind of make it sustainable, right? So we don't have to keep buying bees from somewhere else. But uh, that's that's kind of the end goal here and, and this has been a learning experiment for us over the last couple years and um, every year you do this you, you get more knowledgeable more comfortable and and you expand it and you do better with it and at least that's been my experience and uh, so i'm happy to and excited just to get get bees in here a thumbs up if you liked seeing the the hornet's nest pretty neat Love to have you guys follow along. There are two ways to follow us. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel down below, and you can also follow us on social media. So if you check the description, if you're into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all those things, there are links in those uh, in the description. You can follow over and uh, follow us over there. We have all kinds of stuff that comes out usually every day or two, um, behind the scenes kind of stuff and, and different things that we're doing around here. So love to interact with you guys over there. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.